Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophy at the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to Goal of War. We're sailing back into the big lake of well. the Nine. There was a horse. But uh, I'll let uh, Kratos who's talking for now. A stag. But he could not kill the stag alone. The horse met a man, a hunter, and made a deal. He took the man's bit and bridle and allowed him to ride in the saddle on his back. Together, they killed the stag and the horse tasted victory. But the hunter would not release the horse and made a slave of him. So getting revenge cost him his freedom. Hope it was worth it. It was not. It was not, so let's see. I can dock here probably. Yeah, there we go. Another beach. We found a treasure map regarding a beach. Stone Falls. Okay. Boy. Let's read the scroll here. Yes, sir. Something mm -hmm. hiding. Great. Another treasure map. Okay then. Find the location from the scroll. <laughs> I do wonder if I set one of those as my um, my active quests, does that show me the way then? No, apparently not. Um, so this is another fast travel location. Which is good. We're starting to unlock quite a few of those. There's a bridge I can't seem to open just yet. And then a chain, but that's probably gonna close the gate instead of open it. This looks like an arena. Okay. There we go, in her face. Smack in the face. And she's down. What else just spawned? There's something else spawned. And there we go. Just juggling it, juggling it in the air. Okay, okay. So there's that thing I can throw open. Ooh, what's one of those uh, changey crystals? Oh, I should have, yeah, should have picked health. There we have health. Aha. Uh -huh. So if I pull the chain, this one closes and the other one opens up. But now that I've opened up the bridge, I should be fine, right? Jump. What the hell? Come and face me, God of Thunder! Okay. Your challenges mean nothing to the gods, spirit. They do not listen. Do not mock my pursuit of vengeance. Though my family devoted their lives to worshipping Thor, I've devoted mine to his downfall. And I will start with that statue looming over my father's grave. Unlikely. You are dead. Is there something we can do? For a reward, of course. If you bring down the statue, you have my blessing to loot my father's grave. He rests on an island to the east. Okay. Another side quest. Destroy the statue of Thor. So After my father passed, my mother built the statue to watch over his grave. Imagine our surprise when the god of thunder himself came to offer condolences. At first we were thrilled, but he quickly took advantage of our hospitality. My mother begged him to leave, and Thor, in his drunken rage, killed her. I was left with nothing but grief. Eventually, I lost that as well, and found only rage in its place. I... I'm so sorry. Come, boy. We have a statue to destroy. Okay, so not only Brock and Sindri have uh, quests. What's this? Can I open that big gate? Apparently I can. Opening that up. That is great. Does that stay open? It does. My father's grave lies on an island to the east. Do not mistake my mother's statue of Thor with that monstrous eyesore to the south. Okay, so the south is that statue over there. That's also a statue of Thor. But uh, there's another one closer by, apparently. Um, let's open this one up as well. Because I think this will allow us to open up this now. There we go, more loot for us. 
a bit more hack silver and whatever is in here. And it is a talisman, golden talisman of protection. Activate immediately after being hit to recover faster. Also has a passive effect that increases the timing window on parries and greatly increases defense when walking. Sounds cool, but I'm not gonna swap mine out just yet. So, uh, I can get up here for another... Yeah, but I need to blow that up first, but don't mind if I do. Another ship head that I can sell to Broker Sindri. And more hack silver. Let's blow that chest up as well. So I can do that, but that doesn't really help us now, does it? It does seem like a wheel of some kind. I cannot rest while my mother's murderer stands above my father's grave. So I can't do anything with it just yet, I think. Because I feel like this would rotate around, but... Yeah, and this also leads down, so I think... At some point, the water will drop again. Which makes this even more interesting. So let's head back to the boat and I'll check out this, this, uh, spirits. That, uh, well, the, 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 oh, Jesus. the graves of his, uh, mother and father. The one whose mom was killed by Thor? What about him? Will his story be a reminder? The lives of men mean nothing to the gods. I know, father. You know. But do you listen? Yes. Hmm. Good. Good. Vital God pass. So another uh, new area. There's a lot of areas that you don't really need to come to. Seems to be another beach. Got any more short and purposeful stories from it? Very well. There was a tale of a frog. His pond had dried up, so the frog and his son left to find a new home. They found a well. The son saw the water and made to jump in. But the father stopped him. He saw the well was deep, and once inside, they would not be able to escape if the water dried up again. Wisely, they moved on. That's it? Yes. <laughs> not a story. If the sun jumped in, it would be a story. Then he would be trapped and starve while the father watched helplessly. See? That's a story. Okay, that was, that was kind of funny. Uh, seems like Brock is here as well. Oh, don't fire arrows at it. Just, just, just read it. Just read it, boy. There we go. Vadergard. Vadergard. Southern outposts of the Dwarven King. Ooh. Dwarven King? Have you ever heard of a Dwarven King? No. I think I have a treasure map pointing to something regarding the Dwarven King. Nothing remains of Vitergard except the ruins of Motso Motsognir's cruelty. The once fertile soil is barren, soaked with the blood of both hunters and the hunted. It was the noble dwarf king himself who demanded the bloodshed. He who conscripted the gentle farmers of these lands into an army of ill-equipped hunters. He whose thirst for savage beasts produced the legion of widows. The castle still stands for those foolish enough to scavenge, wherein dwells the deadliest of his quarry. Let caution guide you. Yikes, doesn't sound like a very nice place. Father will probably want to visit anyways to look for useful resources. He's gotten a little predictable, but I'm still having fun seeing new places with him. Okay, fair enough. Let's have a little uh, chat with Brock. Don't know if he needs to uh, tell us anything. There is an option. Hey Brock, you ever hear of a Dwarf King? I suppose you're talking about Motsignir? Some bitch ruled over the humans once lived in this area. Built itself a castle just north of here. A dwarven castle? What's it like? You got yourself a pair of eyes and legs, ain't you? Might want to stock up before you head that way, though. Old Motsignir's known for collecting all manner of killerin' creatures. Not sure who's looking after them now. Well, we're gonna put them down, probably. I think I now have enough hack silver to upgrade uh, Atreus' bow, One by the way. Be. There we go. Increases arrow damage and makes new Talon bow skills available for purchase. <laughs> There we go. His bow looks awesome now. Yes, it worked out. Indeed, it worked out a lot. Well, we'll see if it works out uh, as we're heading into the, the killing creatures lair. Okay, going in sight. Oh, this does look like a nice area, by the way. It's a bit green. 
Uh, and there's a wolf and a dragon over there. Yep. Oh, I dodged at the right time. Boom. There we go. Just clearing out the area. There we go. Get rid of those wolves. You are more focused. Okay. If you are more focused, is that everything you're gonna say to your son Kratos? He might uh, need a bit more positive reinforcement there. Uh, so we could go down there, or we could go up there. Up. There we go. Something else. Chest. The more hack silver, the better. There we go. Soft Svartalfheim Steel and World Serpent Scale Fragments. There we go, another chest. The more the merrier, I always say, so... Uh, yeah, the Soft Steel, so I don't think I have that many things I need Soft Steel for anymore. What happened but, uh, to these people? Follow the clues. Okay, well... Scorch Marks. They're all grouped together. So maybe they were hiding from some kind of fire breather. But they oh, died anyway. great. Great, so there's wolves. Oh, whoa, what the? Whoa, okay, that scared the fuck out of me. Boom. There we go. Okay. That was a surprise attack by a wolf. Sneaky, sneaky wolf. Um... So probably over there, but let's read Lord. that. Yes, sir. I'll heal up in the meantime, and there's more stuff over here. Curse the Dwarf King. Bane of mankind. Sounds like he wasn't a very good king. I wonder why they hated him so much. They're well, I suppose now. let's read up. Does it matter? Oter has escaped his binds yet again. Instead of flying off this time, he seeks revenge on his captors and is determined to turn Vitergard to ash. We seek shelter in the outlying caves where we found sanctuary in the past. Our king assures us his next chain will be unbreakable. If anyone can build an unbreakable chain, it's Motsognir, architect of the great stronghold of Conan's guard, leader of our glorious new age in Vitergard. All hail the dwarf king, protector of man. These people seem a little friendlier for all the good it did no, them. I'm just curious. Curiosity is dangerous, boy. Stay focused. So I think we just got the name of that fire-breathing creature. Sounds like something new. Read it. Sir. And there's something written on the wall here as well. Veda Dowther. It means hunting death. Great. Yeah, very positive. Anything else? Does this mean someone died during a hunt or they were literally hunting death? Sounds rough either way. Okay. Color me intrigued. Oh, this fella wasn't uh, wasn't lucky. But let's lift this up. Seems like we're getting into more burnt areas. Yeah, I see scorch marks. Uh, there's another boat here. Interesting. Definitely color me intrigued. Let's get into the boat and. Continue exploring. How do you even begin to build statues this big? Dwarves are resourceful creatures. Annoying, but resourceful. I guess they must have been pretty important dwarves. Okay, so there's a very green... That's a Thor statue, so that might be what we're looking for, actually. Um... Yeah, let's check this out first. Oh, no, no. Well, here it is. It's gotta have a weak point. Somewhere. So that guy is now frozen. And... Oh, that was just in time. He's dead. But I'm almost dead as well. That didn't give me much. Let's pick up the axe again. I thought I was going to kill it with stun damage, but apparently he didn't get stunned during... Oh wow, I dodged that, but apparently he just hit me in the back. Ah, rip him apart. There we go. 
That's what I wanted to do originally, but now. There's one. Yeah, there he is. Oh, I missed that completely. I blocked that, but. There we go. There we go. And damn. And then I can actually just toss him into the water, I think. And yeah. Goodbye. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah, indeed. Well, he did before, but yeah, I was a bit more prepared now. Let's take all this, and I'm almost back to full health, which is uh, really, really nice. There we go, more hack silver for us, probably. And then we need to head up. Yeah, climb up, Kratos, thank you. Okay. This looks almost jade. There's a, an Odin Raven flying over there. There we go. 6 out of 51. Well, we're getting uh, a 100 experience points every time, so don't mind if I do. There's another boat over here, but... That seems to be... A chain. There we go. And then that one all the way up there. Can't reach that with a normal throw, but maybe like this. Nope. Let's head back up. And try to dismantle this thing one by one. How high can I aim this? That's pretty much the highest thing I can do. It looks about ready to over. Is it? Because I feel like there's one more. I feel like I need to uh, ankle shatter it. Yeah, there we go. Uh, okay, another one. Yeah, there we go. Another one in the back of the leg. Gods do not fall this easily, boy. I know, I know. I was just joking. Yeah, no, we know Atreus. Sorry. We know Atreus. Don't mind Kratos' uh, grumpy, grumpy feeling. So, I think we could we could do this now, right? His father's great. Find anything good? Perhaps. Ooh. Grip of Tangios, legendary axe pommel. Low perk activation chance to strike with an explosion of lightning that inflicts shock damage to all nearby enemies on any successful successful axe hit. This is awesome, and it's actually pretty good, all things considered. It's a bit less on the vitality. But yeah, that sounds awesome. Legendary gear. Okay. So I'm just gonna. What Why is does that? Why so much trouble for us? Because that is their nature. But with all that power, you would think at least some of them would try to make life better for people. And yet the gods continue to spread misery. This is life, boy. This is life, boy. Yeah. Strange life lessons, but apparently the gods are really, really big dicks. Um. So we. Crush the statue, so that means we need to go Very over well. here then. There was a young man who was caught stealing and condemned to die. His mother came to visit his prison. She was a kind woman who could only give love. But her son, the thief, met her with rage and bit off her ear. What? Why? Because the boy had always been a thief. And his mother had taught him only love and nothing of consequences. Had he been taught discipline instead, he might have lived longer. Sure, but her ear, that's not right. Yeah, it, it's not. It's really not. So let's head here. Oh, there's another fight up there. One of those stair fights. That sounds like a dragon. Wait, what? Why did he say dragon? Ready yourself, boy. I think I can kill that one before the big ones arrive. There we go. Oh god. Oh god. And then. 
smack, 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 smack. Oh. Oh god. I it just ravaged them. That is really cool that the axe starts charging up the longer you get uh, hits in without getting hit yourself. That was awesome. But Atreus was talking about, I hear a dragon. I don't like the sound of that. The last dragon was really, really big. Are you gonna fire at me? Well, you're gonna get that back. There we go. Let's jump across. And get whatever item is here. Well, the ship head. I bet there's more where those came from. Ooh, horns found. Horns of fighter guard. This sounds like a big area. To be honest. Oh, gold. Um, I think I see the dragon. Uh, maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Just gonna gather around a bit and maybe we should just return to the spirit. Although there's a few things. Oh, there's a lot of stuff here. Is this completely optional or what? Oh god. Okay. Seriously? We go. I am aware of it, boy. Um Jesus. That's interesting. New tip added. I'm just gonna open up this chest if it's all the same to you. <laughs> this is getting really, really exciting all of a sudden. Uh, more stuff. More stuff, more stuff. There's something to read over there as well. Why not, they? Eh? Well, there's a dragon reading fire on us. Boy. Yes, sir. Yeah. Don't, don't just stand to the dragon's fire. Just Here. read this thing. Boy. Wonder who wrote this. Well, probably somebody who died because of the dragon a bit later on. So I'm supposing the dragon was the creature they were talking about in the notes. Six wolves, two men. Lo, do they call me. Thirteen draugr, nine men. Lo, do they call me. Three tassel worms, six men. One troll, one and forty men. One dragon, nine and nineteen men. Sounds like these people weren't very good at hunting. Maybe they should have just stuck with deer and boar. So, yeah, so those are hunts and every time whom, how, ma how many men they lost because of those hunts. I wouldn't say they were bad at hunting, I'm just thinking they're normal people. Yeah, that sounds like it's not that fun. Let's just check this place first. Oh, so now we're at that fight, okay. Fair enough, I'm just gonna get my axe back uh, for whatever this fight is gonna be. There is another lower area here. I'll see to that after we've uh, stuck our hand in this. Or not. Oh, okay, that's the browns, thank you. We just closed that and got 500 hack silver in return. We didn't even need, have to, uh, needed to fight anything. And another horn then? Yeah. And you got it back in the face. That was awesome. If I do say so myself. Do I check out the dragon? I think I should, right? I mean, it's just waiting for us. I'm just gonna quickly head over there because there's another area I can get up to. Never mind, I've just been here. That's right. I just got built something from here. So let's let's try and uh, find out how we can deal with this dragon. It looks pretty straightforward. Probably shouldn't get hit in the face immediately. Is he gonna get hit? Yeah, he's definitely gonna get hit by uh, the lightning. Goodbye. Yeah, and that's for added uh, added extra effect. Um, so this is not the way to go. Probably need to run towards the next bit. Took a bit of damage because of the lingering lightning. 
Yeah, kill, kill the Draugr for me. That's, that's absolutely fine by me. Can we help him? This dragon is dangerous. I guess so. But it sounds so sad. There's stuff happening all over the place. Oh god. I need to be mobile because uh, the area is lighting up compulsively here. And there we go. So he's aiming stuff at us. Just need to be careful. Oh! What the hell did you do? Oh, okay. I was paying attention. Just need to check my footing constantly. There we go. Just gonna try and avoid most of it here. Oh, this looks interesting. Fort Horn out of six. I'm doing good on that account. Look at that thing. It's a bit... Well, a lot smaller actually than the previous one, the uh, Thunder Dragon we saw before. Maybe the old Thunder Dragons, I don't know. There's a uh, sea over there. Usually they're in order, so... I don't care that they're praying or not. I just want to kill those guys. Boom. Okay. And that guy. I think there's another projectile guy around here. Yeah, there he is. There we go. Taken care of. Okay. Furthermore, what is here? A bit more loot here and there. And oh, ooh, shortcut. There we go. No, no, don't need to. Don't need to drop down. Yeah, this might end up being a longer episode if this keeps going, but uh, I don't. I don't think. Yeah, I don't mind. I hope you guys don't as well. So uh, let's keep keep going. Let's keep going. Another. Oh God. Uh, smack. And time. Ready to go now. Goodbye. Get that up. And more soft. Yeah, soft fart on Heim steel and a bit of uh, serpent scales. Hmm. I hear crows, but there's normal crows mixed in between the. Uh, the ones from Odin, because I don't think... Yeah, that's a normal one. Okay. So we can go further over here. Or open this one up. That's red. I want a white one. I want a white one. I want a white one. Now. There we go. Oh, there's another chest here. Interesting. So is this the one where I got the C from? Yeah. And squashy face. Squashy face it is. What's this? The dragon shrine. Mother had a story about three chain dragons in Midgard. The shrine must be related. There were okay. Three rooms on the We've got to find the other two and free them. It does not concern us. Yeah. Guard your emotions, boy. Your enemies will not hesitate to use them against you. Hmm. So there's another area over here. Should probably check that out before we move any in any other direction. Because we're missing two more rooms. And, oh wait, 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 There we go, that's blown up. Oh, I could have just... Never mind, I could have just jumped over and done it from there. So. 
one pedestal dome. There's more stuff around here. So he doesn't care about most attacks. Maybe... And then the electric dogs. Ooh, cool. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And smack, 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 smack. You just left me. And smack. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting hit, I'm getting hit. There we go. Two heavy guys. And a bit more uh, health stones, which is always appreciated. There we go. So. So, did we? Yeah, we emptied out that one. Um, this should be easy to solve now. Ah, there he is. So that's, that's the puzzle we need to solve. So that's the third one. Oh, that came from over there, okay. This is something else then. Let's just read Look this. Here. Sir. Lighter alloy, lightning infused metal used by the kin of Thor, used to upgrade pommels with shock damage effects, found in treasure map caches. So that's one of the treasure map caches. Sigil of the axe increases damage of all axe throws by 6%. So treasure map completed, Hunter's Kingdom, I told you guys, uh, I know we had one of those treasure maps available. Why isn't this gone? Oh, there we go. And that was, while I throw dirt on the mangled citizens of Gvitergard, Motsoknir looks upon his newly caged beast with a gleeful fervor. I curse his name. The Dwarf King set the capture of trolls and dragons above the safety of his own followers. The same followers who served and revered him hunted these monsters and died, forgotten. My attempt to free the beasts failed, and Motsognir's punishment was swift. I am banned from Konensgard, demoted to town gravedigger, a fitting end for a once proud hunter whose prey hastened the fall of Vitergard. Berthold. Okay, the end of a bit of a story. I think, I think that was the guy that gave us a treasure map as well, Berthold. But uh, yeah, let's take a look around further before we go. Any, let's let's end. So where does which one come from? I think... Yeah, that's the bottom one. So... This should be easily solvable, indeed. There we go. What do they say, boy? True. It means to believe, or to have faith in. So they still have faith in their king? Even after he got so many of them killed? It is a command. To have faith, despite his failures. Huh. Okay, so we open that up. Does this open up somehow? There's, there's the other dragon shrine. But how do I open this? Oh god! Okay, never mind. He died immediately. So we're underneath the dragon and I think there's another... I don't think we've been in here before. We just want to be careful, but I think we're fine for now. Yeah, there's another dragon shrine. Okay. And we know the location of all shrines. And there we go. Oh, he exploded. Damn, son. There we go. Indeed, stay dead, please. So, still gonna get electrified. He's trying to destroy your shrines, buddy. I thought you said it'd be dangerous to destroy the other ones. If it was your mother's wish. Yeah. You are too eager, boy. It may attack us, and we will be forced to kill it. Oh, good point. <laughs> 
Yeah, be very good point. We'll so that's yeah, we have one more shrine left, so it's marked over here. Um, wait a second. There's a flipping crow in there. There we go, a raven. Um, yeah, I'm gonna head through that big gate then. Oh wait, there's another one over here. So that's another seal. That's the R. So for now, I'm gonna suppose the last uh, letter for the chest is hidden somewhere else. I don't think I can actually get to yeah, can get to the dragon shrine from here. Oh wait, I can. I can. Oh. Now we find out if dragons can be grateful or not. Okay. Let's go check that out then. I don't know if that was supposed to work or not. But it did. So... Ooh, it's another one of those masks. Uh, what are we doing? Okay, so he's stabbing the mask. With difficulty. Please don't eat us. Please don't eat us. Boy, prepare yourself. Huh. You are free, dragon. Fly, my boy. Yeah, I think he's leaving. Goodbye. You're welcome. Yeah, indeed, you're welcome. Brilliant Mark of the Dragon. Rare enchantment. Sprinting for 3 seconds grants unstoppable aura preventing interruptions by enemy attacks. Dragon favor complete. Otus imprisonment. And I got a dragon tier and 600 experience points. Okay. Then all that's left is getting inside of the building. Here we go, boys. That sounds like a revenant. <laughs> And swipe. Uh, one, two, and three. And just squash his head again. There we go. Okay. This place looks big. This is another story time. Here, boy. Another one. Mother liked her. The great huntress. That's her father. And all the animals she hunted. Hmm. In the last battle. Her father again. Dead. Both of them. In the snow. They seem to be dying. There, yeah. Doesn't seem like there is. No, so that's just a shrine, but then I get another uh, war marker. A legendary giant huntress, one of mother's favorites. She could hunt birds, boars, deer, anything. Her father told her how, but what happened to her? Uh, thump. And smack in the face. And I think the other one already died or not. I think he did. Yeah, he got experience so the fight is over. And that's another Horn of Vitergard, which means there's only one more left. Seems like we went the long way around of some kind. Okay. Is this gonna go back or not? And he isn't, so let's open that up. It seems like another dragon shrine. But, there we go, more Serpent Scales and Soft Svartalfheim Steel. Okay. Come on, blow up, there we go. And swag. Look at this place. Well, yeah, but if a dwarf built it, they must have been impressive back when he ruled. Yeah, it must have been, because, yeah, this place is actually really, really big. I don't know where I'm going now. Seems like we're... Oh, now we're at the shrine. This guy is praying for nothing. Smack. In 
to the wall. Oh, he's gonna explode, yeah. But this one isn't. Well, he kind of explodes, but it doesn't really matter since I'm fine. It's been a while since I needed to use uh, Spartan Rage, which is uh, also good. Let's open that up. I don't need to actually go through it, because I'm just gonna go back here so I know where I've been and where I haven't been yet. So. This also is rotatable. And that drops down the water. Great. Allowing us to fall down. Okay, yeah, they're coming this way. That's one down, and then the other one, I think, went... Oh, yeah, okay. That was sneaky. Oh, he actually got me there. And that's the last one, and I think I'm just gonna... Boom, 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 boom. Boom. Oh, cool. And up. There we go. Just a bit of juggling, but the poison was uh, getting to me there, actually. You hear stuff behind the door, which, uh, yeah, the door's gonna get, have to uh, give me a second there. Just gonna clear this out. Oh, and there's another lore tablet over here as well. Just healing up a bit, I thought there was one, yeah, there was one thing over here as well. We built kind of... Yeah, indeed, we got the complete set of the horns. The made subjects hunt dragons and other monsters for him? Some king, huh? Yeah, we, we saw that in the previous lore marker as well. We baited the beast with a stuck fawn. Her cries echoed on the morning breeze. It did not take long for death's hammer to approach. The smell of burnt grass, the bleating of the dying fawn, the fear of imminent death. Many could not hold their breakfast. When it stepped into the clearing, our attack was swift. The vanguard died instantly, burnt to ash. No time to react. The hunt continued as we led the enraged troll to the Lake of the Nine. There we subdued it, but not before losing 30 more men. Upon our return, King Motsogneer proclaimed a week of celebration. The festivities were sparsely attended, though not for lack of pride in the victory. The population of Vitagard had just been reduced by a quarter. I fear the sad irony was lost on the dwarf. So again from Berthold, so I'm guessing, which is probably not just guessing, that there's a troll at the other side of the door. Or pretty Father, close to it. You may want to see this. Looks like that lover over there will free him. He will attack. I know, but he feels wrong to keep something caged like this. <laughs> Your emotions again, boy. You can't hear their thoughts. You can. Ignore them and ready yourself. Okay. Okay. So we can free him up. But I don't wanna. Just yet, because I'm just gonna. This is a big one, probably. Nope, nope, it's not. It's not. I'm just gonna have to make do, I suppose. Can I open this gate? Probably not. No, it's. It's locked. Okay. I suppose we need to kill Dodi Hamad. Oh, Jesus Christ! Can I. He's probably... yeah, he's weak to paralysis. Smack, 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 smack. 
I am taking damage though because I'm right into the fire. Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. And that's Spartan Rage. Okay. And uh, this one does quite a bit of damage as well. Yeah, he's leaving fire behind so I can't really do anything. So I think... If I just electrify him a bit, I can actually get this in. Yep, there we go. In the face! Punch, okay. I needed to start punching him, apparently. And open up the skull, and then squish him with its own pillar. There he goes. And there goes the loot. What is the beast thinking now? Well, nothing. But he was grateful to die in battle. Instead of rotting in the cage. Your skill is improving. You fought well, Atreus. Thank you, father. That was a nice compliment there. Some more hack. Vivarium Keystone. Okay, that's gonna open up the door. And then we get Soft Fart of Heimsteel, thanks to. And another Horn of Heimdall. Unleash a powerful attack that inflicts stun damage and knocks back nearby enemies. Also, have a passive effect that reduces this talisman's cooldown on successful blocks and parries. What does Vitality do? Increases maximum health and increases the severity of hit reactions from enemy attacks. Because I think I want to go with the horn. Let's try that out. Let's try that out. Okay, so now we have the key. And I think we're pretty much at the end of the area. So let's use the keystone into this thing. There we go. Don't know why the troll is holding the keystone, but... Okay, big shiny chest. Don't mind if I do. And that gets us another... Ooh, death happened here. Ooh, a trophy at the end of the of this area. Light runic attack, a powerful extra that plows through any enemies in its path. Leviathan's Wake. That's actually pretty cool as well. And it feels like it's a bit stronger than... It's not a circle. Uh, but it is a frontal attack. It looks really, really damaging though. So I'm going to equip that and upgrade it immediately. And then I'm going to check my skills. And I'm going to... Um, yeah, I'm going to unlock the Guardian's Fury. And the uh, stance switch for the axe. There we go. Upgrades, upgrades all around. Um, those are three posts. Why are they standing there like that? Doesn't seem really particular but let's head up uh, i'm assuming since i got the trophy i did reach the end of the area and this is sort of a, a skyrim door out of the dungeon fresh air feels good oh yeah we're underneath the dragon which is yeah i think this makes it all right that we uh freed it because otherwise we was we're gonna be uh smashed immediately by the dragon but yeah that's uh Vitengard. i think we uh Made a pretty nice episode out of that. So thank you guys enormously for watching because I'm going to take a little break. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the episode and I'll see you guys next time where we'll probably continue on our normal path. So we'll head back to the Witch of the Woods uh, unless we find anything else. Good. So uh, can't really make any promises, but uh, see you guys next time on God of War. Thank you. See you guys next time.